Hi friends good morning let us close our eyes and thank merciful god that we are safe last week also and continue to pray last class we have learned to insert audio and video before starting i want to congratulate all the students those who created a tremendous beautiful marvelous presentation about your family one parent called and told me when i see the presentation which he created about our family i am so happy my eyes are filled with tears such a way the children are presented so thank you and those who are not completed please complete soon and show to your parents and send to my email id now we will insert action button okay in the first slide i am going to insert a action button okay what is the steps insert shapes and last option action button i am giving a question mark here on action button question mark okay i clicked here then there is an option here hyperlink to where to go i am giving there the last slide clicking on last slide click on okay now i am going to run the presentation how it is f5 f5 okay then i click here what will happen here go to the last page see here this is the last page is it yes this is the last page okay now if you can insert another action button in the last page example insert shapes and go to last action button and you can give another action button and you click here okay then you will get again hyperlink to go to next previous slide first slide last slide and show okay again going on url url means if you give a url of google then when you click this button it redirected to google if there is an internet or if you want other presentation okay click here then when you click here it will present on the other presentation example i am selecting other file not only presentation other file click on okay then it will ask which file it is i am giving hyperlink to sixth computer youtube links ms word file select okay then i see here that path is selected then click on okay if i click what will happen yes exactly i will try f5 running next slide next slide okay then when i click on this slide what will happen yes it will open the file which i selected example i am clicking here see here the page which i created these are the links look here See, these are the links of YouTube which I prepared for you. And one thing, here I started sixth chapter, fifth chapter. Is it okay? Just information only. What about the one to fourth chapter? Don't worry, parents. All the portions in the first and second other chapters, I am including in these chapters. Okay, if I start from first, second, third, and all, then we cannot complete. These are very important for the next year. That's why I started with a very important chapter. Is it clear for you, parents? Don't worry about the portion. Yes. Now you can close this one, this file, and again it came back to the slide. Okay. now got it the action button yes next point viewing 
and organizing the slides. There are five views. Which are the views? Take page number 75, normal view, notes page view, outline view, reading view and slide sorter view. Where you can see these all views? Click on view tab. Look here. View tab. In that view tab, this is the normal view. And this which you are seeing is the normal view. Normal view is the main editing view that you can use to create and design a presentation. Okay, so you can create new slide or everything you can do in the normal slide. Next one is outline view. Look here. Here, outline view. This is the outline which the text is typed. It shows the slide text in outline form. Next one is slide sorter view. See here, this is the slide sorter view. You can do every action in this presentation view. Example, if you want to bring this first page to last, so what you will do, click and drag, click and drag here, see here. Or you want to insert a slide in between 1 and 2, then what you will do, select, right click, new slide. Okay, so it will come in between. And every action you can do in this, which view, slide sorter view or normal view. All the slides you can see in a single page, that is slide sorter. Next one is notes page view. You can see all the notes. Here you see notes page. About this video you can give a notes. You can give that one. Same way reading view. So reading view is similar like notes. All the notes will be appeared there. Then the last view is slide show. How we can do slide show? As I told you can press F5 or go to view, presentation view group and slide show here. See here. Okay. Then you want to record the narration. You will go to the narration. Narration means the explanation. I may explain about the first slide. Okay. This is about uh, computer PowerPoint button, action button. Second slide okay this is the record sound this video is a text box and this is about corona everything instead of seeing you want to record this slide so what you will do go to which slide any slide and select which tab slideshow tab and here setup group there is an option here record narration click on record narration and set up your microphone and click on OK, then it will record whatever thing I say about computer, PowerPoint and go to next uh, slide and uh, this is uh, action button, this is video, this is audio, go to next slide, everything I am explaining. After that, what you will do? You have to serve, see here, narration have been served with each slide. Do you want to serve the slide timing as well? If you want, you save it. So you can serve the narration. What is the steps? Go to slideshow tab, setup group and record narration. Now next one. How you can print the presentation? Can you print this sound? This video can you play in a paper? Okay, the animation coming like a, like a flying bird. Can you print that one? No. Then, what are the options are there in the print? So, before that, what you have to do? Learn the step. What is step? Go to file, go to file and click on print option. If I click on print option, there are many options. See here, select the printer. Okay, select the printer. There are many printers. Which printer you need that you select. Then, how many pages you want to print is it all slide one two three four slides or only current slide which is the current slide here two because see here it is selected only that slide you can print then one more is there if in the slide itself you can select any one object and you 
click on selection button here then you can print only that object in that slide or you want to print the first slide second slide and third slide first slide no need so what you will do examples are there either you can write 1 comma 2 comma 3 or you can write 1 hyphen 3 then you want first and second and then fourth what you will do 1 comma 2 comma 4 that's all so only those slide it will print and there are many print option you can print in a for size paper you can print in a legal paper or you can print only notes okay notes page as we learned last year collate and uncollate option you want to see what will be the output in the printout so click on here preview option this is the output which it will print in your printout okay if it is okay click on print you will get the printout close so i am completing this chapter and don't forget to learn the terms each day i'm giving few question answers or one verse or exercise something that you have to do it will help you to cover all the portion in time again as i started first don't bother about the first chapter or second chapter or why i didn't take that one nothing i am covering with the other chapters or if time allows i will complete this year itself and the main point is that i am giving importance to the chapters which you should understand for next few years 6 standard 7 standard 8 standard especially program and programming concepts dear friends i am humbly requesting you two things one is help your parents this is the best opportunity for you and second don't forget to follow covid 19 prevention campaign Thank you.